All right, what's up guys, Hella Bass here. We have a little bit of a different kind of video. So we're gonna go frog fishing later. But first, I got this box right here. Super long, awkward box. I'm not even sure why, but there must be something I bought that's interesting that made this box long and weird. And it's not long enough to be a rod, but too long to be just tackle. Uh, plus, I got a new reel, which I'm gonna use for frogging. So that's gonna be part of this. We're gonna do a pre kind of early review of my new frog reel. And then I think the second of this video, we're gonna actually go out and see if we can catch some fish on a frog. So should be a good video. Stay tuned. We're gonna grab our arsenal. Battle braid scissors, we got one in the boat. We keep one here for popping cool stuff, open boxes and things like that. So we ordered from Omnia Fishing, which if you want to order from Omnia Fishing too, it'll be a code down below. It changes every now and then, but it's down below. And you can save some money at Omnia. What did we get? Some paper, which is sweet. Be sustainable. And the first thing we grab, Oh, oh, that's the real. We're going to set that aside. We'll save that for last. All right. This is probably why it's so long. I got a catch board. And you're probably asking yourself, Rich, why do you get a catch board? Are you going to be a kayak angler? No. But I'm thinking about entering an online fishing tournament or two. And I tried to do that. I was going to do it in May. Then I realized I didn't have a board that was acceptable for any of these people. So I'm going to just add these. I was like, hey, I want to buy a catch board, throw it in my boat. Maybe enter some online fishing tournaments. So, might be some videos where I enter some of those online fishing tournaments. So, if you think that would be cool, leave a comment below. If you do online tournaments, if you got any ideas on some online tournaments I should get into, that I should check out, and uh, maybe we fish against each other. Let me know. All right, what else is in here? Well, this one fell out. We got a little chicken action. The hair jig, the preacher jig, the outcast chicken. This is in a white and chartreuse color. I've got some ideas to try these out soon. Let's see what else is in here. I'm just gonna empty it all on the table and then I'll show you because this box is super long and... Oh, is there more in there? It might be a note. Is that my note? Ooh, a sticker. Anything else? There's more rattling in there. There's, oh, more stuff came out. Ah! It's like it's all stuck in there. Oh, there's more paper. Get rid of that. Nope, more stuff came out. I feel like there's still something that just might be paper. And a receipt. And now, what did I just knock over? I don't know. Ugh, my lunker fucker. Put that back. All right, now that I got it all dumped out on the floor, let's see what I got. Receipt, you don't care about that. Omnia, fishing. Thanks for the order. Enjoy the reel. Nick. Thanks, Nick. This is Omnia's new logo on their new notes. We got a little sticker. There's their new logo sticker. I don't know if you can really see that. It doesn't really show. There it is. All right. What did we get? Ah, a little jackal rearrange. Medium runner. Good color here. This is Secret Shad 2. I'm replacing one that I lost. They had them in stock, so this is kind of a restock for me. Jerk baits. All right, what else do we get? We talked about the preacher, the chicken. Got two of each, half ounce. I got this bluegill color, sunfish color, uh, which is a little bit of green, orange, black, and this kind of chartreuse shad. So those are the two colors, two of each. Look for those in a future video. I have plans to try to catch some bass on these. I had bought some of these and I couldn't find them anymore, so I bought some more because I have a tackle problem and I lose stuff. So it's probably my garage or my boat, but three packs, max scent, creature hogs. Black and blue, smoke black purple. So I'm gonna try flipping these around. We've got a tournament coming up. It's about time for the milfoil bite to get going and I'm kind of excited for that. So creature hogs, flipping in the grass. We're gonna see if they're any better than a D-bomb or a beaver or anything else that I'm flipping out there and we'll see if I get more bites or if they eat it better and I lose less fish. We're just gonna see. So watch for these videos coming up. A new reel. This may be a reel, it's Daiwa, but it might be not a reel that you guys have heard of or looked at or used. And this is what I am replacing. So I want a new rod for my, what I call tactical frogging. On my Sierra 735C, which is more of my, what I call tactical frogging, I will do specific rod videos on my frog setups coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't those. Uh, but 735 is my tactical frogging rod, which means my like dock skipping, fishing around shoreline mats, skipping under trees, small 
precise cast close to the belt like this. For my big frog, and it's a different rod. But I've got this old, I think it's a Credo G, G7, which does pretty good. But I just feel like it's getting a little play in the reel. It's got that graphite body. It just doesn't feel like it's sturdy enough to really take the pounding of 65 pound braid, frog hook sets, things like that. It balances just fine. You know, it's just in front of the grip there, which is fine for how I hold it. I'm holding it like that. So it balances really well. It's light. I just feel like it needs a little more. So this is the reel I'm going to try out. This is the Daiwa Coastal SV TW 150 HS. So this is a seven to one reel. It's a coastal reel. So it's an inshore reel designed for saltwater, redfish, speckled trout, things like that. So it's going to be a little beefier, I think, and uh, have a little bit beefed up components. So I'm kind of excited. I got it in the seven to one because I feel like for me, that's high enough to keep my frog moving, get it back in, got it back out, but enough torque uh, where I can really like crank on a fish if I need to when it's stuck in some weeds. So here it is. Take a look at this. Is that a sharp looking reel or what? That blue is going to look sick on my Dobbins Sierra or if you had a Dobbins Champ, I think this would look amazing. A uh, nice a little bit larger swept handle. Um, I think it'll give you a little more power. That thing, wow, that is a good looking smoother. It also has a deeper spool, which I think is gonna be key. Uh, sometimes I'm making really long gas. So even though this is my tactical rod, every now and then I wanna like send it. And this 150, so it's a 100 size reel with a 150 deep spool. So that will allow me to put a little more backing on there and a little more braid so I can make much longer casts if I really want to. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to take the other one off and we compare them side by side. I'm going to snip the old one off. Nice sharp braid scissors, no tension, pops right off. Look at this. Might even just, yeah, the other thing I had to say a little click to it. I don't know if you can hear that, but this one's got a little, like, they're banging on them gears and they're getting a little worn out. So I feel like I might retire this to a less rigorous duty. Maybe throw some spinner baits or something less jarring with this uh, Credo G. All right, side by side. Boom. This is actually a tiny bit more compact. Um, it feels a little lighter, but there's some line on this one. Um, handle size, you can see that handle is just a little bit bigger. I like that. So when I'm going to like grind on them and they're in the deep stuff, I think that's going to be nice. That swept handle, a little bit bigger uh, star on the gear. Overall, the T-wing, I think it's going to help a little bit too for like uh, cottonwood, things like that. So I'm pretty excited about that. We're going to try this. I'm going to quick weigh this. You can, let's see what this weighs and what this weighs. I'll give you a quick report. So I'm going from a about a seven and a quarter ounce. That's with line on it. Uh, Corrado G. All right. And this one comes in about 6.4 ounces without line. So it's going to be just a touch lighter even with line out of it. All right. So this has got the Tatula SV system in it. It's super, it's got that cool blue look to it. Let's put it on the rod and see what she looks like. All right. Look at that. That is pretty spicy looking on that Sierra. That is a good looking combo. That, that kind of jumps. A frog rod should have a little swagger. Balance point is pretty much the same. So when I'm grabbing that, you know, choked up on that real blank, that's going to be perfect. Feels really light in hand. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, so we're going to get this out in the water. Stay tuned. We're going to plant a jack couple on this new frog reel. I know exactly what he's doing. Little son. Yeah. Frog. First frog fish. He ain't real big. <laughs> what real is this? This is my new Dial of Coastal that I just bought. Yeah. Look at that. Little 13, 12 yeah. incher. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cast her out. It's a long cast. A time on eight the old frog. Caught up to him with that high speed seven to one reel. <laughs> Here's a 
Awesome. New frog reel showing out. Testing out. Summary of the frog reel. So we didn't get to test this on any giants today, but we ended up getting a few bites. A couple things. Cast like a dream. SV, super nice. Skips way better than that old Crate OG because I got that uh, SV system, which helps reduce backlash and trying to skip around trees and docks and things like that. So pretty impressed. Uh, smooth, felt super powerful. Uh, never really felt like I was, you know, bogged up in any grass, even the ones that got down in the weeds. Uh, this T-wing design really seemed to help with the cottonwood and the and the stuff getting on my line. That seemed like a big plus over the traditional reel. So pretty stoked overall. Picked this up at Omnia. They have them at a few other places. And there'll be a link down in the description below if you want to get this reel with a discount code. And uh, hey, if you're looking for a good frog reel that looks pretty sweet and doesn't crush the bank, check out this Daiwa Coastal SV 150. I'm sure you're going to see it in more videos coming up. So link, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think of this reel or what your favorite frog reel is. If you want to continue to catch more big bass and suck less, make sure you watch one of these videos coming up right here.